Welcome into Steelers Talk. I'm your host, Jack Sperry. And today, it is week six of our Summer Madden series here where the Pittsburgh Steelers, coming in at 4-1, and one, are going to be playing the Las Vegas Raiders on the road to try and get back on the horse after losing to the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football in week five in our Summer Madden series, our Madden uh, simulated season for the Steelers. The Steelers are 4-1. and one with the only loss being to the Dallas Cowboys at home in Week 5. And then you get the Raiders this week on the road. They're currently 2-3. and three. Uh, And I actually don't know who they have starting at quarterback, so I guess we'll have to figure that out today. If you want to see all of our Madden live streams throughout the summer, we're doing it every single Friday and every single Wednesday. We're doing a live stream uh, where we talk about the latest news and rumors of the day surrounding the Steelers. And we also have a Madden stream for that day. You can see all the results from the games right there. And then we're going to be going all the way to the end of July here. And um, then we'll do any playoff streams if the Steelers end up making the playoffs after a 4-1 start. I would count on it. And uh, if that happens, we'll do that. And that will lead us right into our preseason watch parties here. Uh, so, you know, this is the, these are the dog days here at Chat Sports. There's not much news going around, so we wanted to give you guys something fun, and that's what we're doing here with this Madden, Madden Summer Series. So make sure you click that subscribe button right now to catch all of our Madden simulations. Okay, man, before we get in to our Madden Sim today, uh, go ahead and let me know who's going to win. Type PIT for the Pittsburgh Steelers or type LV for the Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. When that happens, take advantage of that time, but let me know who's going to win. All right, now let's get into it right now. Week six in the National Football League, the two and three Raiders will face off against the four and one Pittsburgh Steelers. Russell Wilson won the first four games as the starting quarterback of the Steelers, lost last week thanks to a missed Chris Boswell field goal that would have tied the game and sent it to overtime. The Steelers looking for a bounce back win today in week six. And by the way, we're at, we usually do six-minute quarters. We're actually doing eight-minute quarters today. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, we've done so good with this Madden series so far that our boss has allowed us to uh, extend the game today. So if you enjoy that, um, make sure you click that thumbs-up icon and like today's show. I want to see people flooding the PITs down there in the comments section right now. I see Kurgan Cole. I see Kevin Reed. I see Kupo. I see Pittsburgh Fan 412. I see Gene. Let's go. Kurgan says this is better than, a, than dinner in a movie. I couldn't agree more, Kurgan. Thanks for, thanks for sticking it out with us here. We got Fernando Martin, a Black Diamond member in here. We got Hot Rod 24, Anthony Fuller, as we get ready to kick things off at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Week 6 action in our Summer Madden Series coming up here. Who's going to win, man? Let me know and predict the score for me. Uh, Producer Joey, I'm going to go 27 20 Steelers win. What's your score prediction, pal? I think we ride the offense from last game, or at least last fourth quarter. I'm yeah. 35 to 28. 35 28 Steelers? Steelers. Steelers, okay. We're not we... getting beat by Gardner Minshew. We are kicked off there at Allegiant. Raiders will get the ball first. They. Uh, so it will be Gardner Minshew, Uncle Rico himself with those flowing black locks running onto the field. To this point, the Raiders are 2-3 and three in our Summer Madden simulation. Steelers are 4-1. and one. Steelers defense has been on and off. It kind of depends on the week. Last week had a tough week against the Dallas Cowboys offense. Here we go. First play from scrimmage. Raiders are in shotgun. Steelers showing blitz. They drop out of it. Minshew looking. Now he steps up, he throws, and it's going to be intercepted to start the game. Joey Porter Jr. gets the pick, and we're going here in Las Vegas. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Joey Porter Jr. with the interception. And now Russell Wilson will take the field for the first time today. Wow. Joey Porter Jr., terrible throw by Gardner Minshew. It wasn't even close. It looked like he had a, a, an open receiver. But then Joey Porter Jr., who was playing a deep third, comes in and poaches it. From the shotgun, Russell Wilson. First play for the Steelers' offense today. It's a handoff to Cordero Patterson. He's going to get a gain of two.
So here we go, man. Second down and eight. Cordero Patterson has had a fantastic season to this point. Uh, he's got, got multiple return touchdowns in the special teams game last week against the Cowboys. Short pass from Russ on second down to George Pickens. It's caught for a gain of uh, about five. It'll be third down and three. And you think uh, we see a no Connell after that interception? I don't think so, man. If Gardner made it this long, one interception isn't going to take him out. Third down and three, Russell Wilson from the shotgun will take the snap. He's looking. He's going to throw short. It's caught by George Pickens. Tough catch. First down. Steelers, type those ones in the chat. Type those ones in the chat. Let's go, man. Oh, my. That's Jeremy. That is Jeremy. First down and 10, shotgun, takes the snap. <laughs> Is that Chase? I think that's Chase. Second down and 10. Can they hear that? Jesus Christ. I don't even know where that's coming from, man. Second down and 10. <laughs> Under center is Russ. Takes the snap. Hands it up. I believe this is to Najee. Oh, there he is. <laughs> were, were you just saying it through the wall? No way. <laughs> Sounded like a microphone. Third down and four coming up here. By the way, we have a Venmo alert that we'll get to here in just a second. But anyway, it's third down and four. Max Crosby's X Factor has been activated, by the way. Russ looking. He's throwing. It's caught. Tough catch by Cordero Patterson, who continues to impress in the Steelers' offense this year. First down, Steelers. <laughs> Tough catch from Cordero Patterson, man. He gets blown up right at the catch. And now the Steelers are firmly within Raider territory here as they approach the Fanatics' red zone. Under center. Russell Wilson, play action. He's going to throw middle to the end zone incomplete. It's low. That's his first incomplete pass of the day. Second down and 10 upcoming. As you can see, Max Crasby's X Factor still activated. Second down and 10 from empty. Russ looking. Quick throw over the middle. It's caught. Looks like George Pickens. For a gain of five, it'll be another third down for the Steelers' offense. After that interception, man, you got to try to get a touchdown here and capitalize and really put the Raiders in their place right away here. You don't want them to get any sort of momentum by uh, drawing a field goal here. Got to go get a touchdown. Come on now. Shotgun Russ takes the snap. He's looking. He's got plenty of time. He's going to throw to the flat. It's caught and Muth goes out of bounds with a Steelers first down. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Russell Wilson is a third down machine today as the Raiders have not been able to stop the Steelers on a third down to this point. Here we go, baby. First down and 10. Hands it off. It's going to be Najee. He's going to pick up four on the first down carry. Kurgan Cold says, Likes the, like, uh, I like the jersey, Heinz Ward. We got the 86 today for my boy Josh Walker, one of our Black Diamonds here at Steelers Talk. Second down and six. Heavy formation for the Steelers. Looks like a run. Najee Harris is the back. They're going to hand it off. Finds a hole up the middle. Can he get in? He's going to be close. He's going to get to the one-yard line. First down, Steelers. Type those ones. And you know what that means, man. When you're at the one-yard line, it's Najee time. It's Najee time, folks. Come on. From the shotgun. Oh, my goodness. Are they going to pass this? From the one-yard line, Russ from the shotgun. Takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Easy pitch and catch. Touchdown. George Pickens. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Let's go, man. George Pickens with the stanky leg. 
A uh, touchdown celebration as the Steelers will take the early lead. Spam those touchdowns in the chat. I see Kurgan Cold. I see Fernando Martin. I see Pittsburgh Fan 412. I see Hot Rod 24. I see Steeler Jax. By the way, Mr. Uh, Joey, I got another. I got another Venmo alert here. Fantastic. Thoughts on that first drive, Mr. Sperry? I thought it was great, man. Third down conversions. People were talking last game to bench Russ. Mike Tomlin decides to go with uh, Russ once again instead of Fields. And he rewards him here with a touchdown drive with a touchdown pass to George Pickens. I love it. All right, the kick is away. We got two Venmo alerts coming here pretty soon, guys. So don't go anywhere. As the Raiders will take it out to the 24. As here comes Gardner Minshew. Uncle Rico threw an interception, his first pass of the game. And now let's see if the silver and black can handle the black and gold here on offense. Shotgun for Minshew. Takes the snap. Minshew hands off. And it's going to be a decent gain here for Dylan Lobby, the rookie. Rookie running back here gets seven yards. Got another one here, Joey. Yeah, let's do those. We'll, we'll do all the Venmo alerts here that we get at the end of the quarter. So if you sent one in, uh, we'll do them at the end of the quarter. Second down and three. Under center, Gardner Minshew. He's going to hand it off. Bigger back here. Great tackle in the backfield by Patrick Queen for a gain of one. So I guess it wasn't a tackle for loss, but Patrick Queen has been unbelievable in our Madden Summer Series to this point. A number of tackles, a number of tackles for loss. He's been freaking unbelievable. So here we go. Third down and two. Spam those threes. Get those towels going under center. They're going to hand it off, and they're going to get it first down. Zamir White, number three for the Raiders, picks up the first down. We need to stop here, folks. Fernando Martin saying, nice hit. I think he was talking about the, uh, the uh, Patrick Queen one there. I agree there, Fernando. Under center, I formation for the Raiders. He's going to hand it off. No, play action. He's got plenty of time. He's going to throw to the flat. It's caught, and it's going to be a gain of five. It's Gardner Minshew's first completed pass of the day. Cole Holcomb on the tackle. Alexander Madison on the catch. Like I said, if you didn't hear before, Raiders coming into the game, 2-3 and three record, Steelers 4-1. and one. Of course, the Steelers beat the Raiders in Las Vegas last year with Kenny Pickett as their quarterback. Now Minshew from play action. He's going to throw diving catch. I don't know who caught that. That looks like Jacoby Myers, first down Raiders. Wasn't the best place ball, but he was open, so he had the room to dive and make the catch. First down Raiders. Had to go full extension there. Jacoby Myers with a great catch. And now the Raiders are in Steelers territory. Steelers need to stop here, folks. Less than a minute left to go. So if you sent in a Venmo to at Jack Dash Sperry, I'll be going over those at the end of the quarter. Gardner looking, throws flat immediately, and he's going to be wrapped up after a one-yard gain. Looks like Minshew, after going downfield for that interception here, Joey, that he's being very conservative, throwing to the flat. He had a wide open Jacoby Myers that he threw to, but it seems like He's really looking like he wants to throw it to the flat here. I think I would, too, if my first throw was picked off. <laughs> <laughs> From shotgun, second down and nine, takes the snap. Minshew's got immediate pressure. Now they're going to throw the screen. He's got room and blockers. There's a terrible tackle attempt, and Zamir White's going to go all the way to the 13. Who is that that just straight up ran past him? Who was that guy? Somebody had a clean alley to him. And he just decided not to go tackle him. And they're not going to show the replay, of course. And I have no idea. So here we go. Three seconds left in the quarter. Will they get a play off? They will. I formation. They give it to Zamir White. And TJ Watt levels him in the, back, in the backfield. It's going to be no gain. And that is the end of the first quarter. And before we get to our Venmo alerts here, if you want to help out the channel here, uh, you can do so by going to chatsports.com slash Russ and picking up a brand new Russell Wilson jersey today. Um, uh, and the reason why it helps out the channel, guys, is if you use that link and then you make a purchase, 
uh, Fanatics, who is the sponsor of today's show, is going to send us part of the proceeds. So if you were thinking about getting a Russell Wilson jersey anyway, you want to help out the channel, you can go chatsports.com slash Russ, get a jersey, and they're going to send some proceeds our way. And then uh, we got some Venmo alerts here. We got Platinum666 with a $6.66 uh, Venmo alert here. Appreciate you, Platinum. You, you know how much uh, I appreciate you. Then we got Steeler Jacks, not Steeter Jacks. That's on producer Joey. F Joey in the chat for, for Hey, missing. that's what it was slack to me. Oh, that's what I said? Yes. All right, then F Sperry in the chat. <laughs> thank you. $10 Venmo. Thank you, Steeler Jacks. And then we get another seven from Platinum666. Thank you guys so much for all of your support on Venmo. If you want to send me something, you can find me at Jack Dash Sperry if you appreciate what we do here at Steelers Talk. All right, and by the way, before we get to the... Actually, let's do this uh, at halftime, Joey, that, that graphic at halftime. Let's get into the second quarter of Steelers versus Raiders here on our Madden simulated week six matchup here. Uh, score is 7-0 Steelers, but the Raiders are uh, definitely challenging here within the Fanatics red zone. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ to pick up a Russ jersey today. Play action from the Raiders. He's going to throw to the flat again. Diving catch, and it's going to be a gain of nothing here. Third down and nine. We need to stop right here, folks. We need to stop right here. Type those stops. Come on. Platinum666 says we need to get to $5,000 in Super Chat Venmo revenue. I guess we'll see if we get there. Shotgun. Minshew looking, there's going to be pressure, he throws, it's caught, one yard short, great tackle from Dante Jackson, it'll be fourth down and one, let's go, we got that stop, and if I know anything about Madden, they're not going to go for this, if I know anything about the Madden AI, they're going to take the points, especially early in the game, and that's exactly what they do. Big stop there by the Steelers' defense as they'll boot in the field goal. 7-3 Steelers as we just get into the second quarter here. Joey Porter Jr., if you're just joining us, Joey Porter Jr. got an interception on the first throw of the game from Gardner Minshew. Russell Wilson converted, I believe, three or four third downs uh, on the, on, en route to a touchdown to George Pickens. And then Las Vegas with a decent drive there, but only ending in three points as the Steelers' defense holds. There we go. Kick is away. Cordero Patterson looking for, a room, looking for room. He had two return touchdowns last week against Dallas. He's going to get to the 27. And here comes George Pickens who had four catches on four targets, 15 yards, and a tud last drive, and Russell Wilson will take the field once again. Under center here. Let's see what Arthur Smith has cooked up for us. Play action. Plenty of time for Russ now as he's going to rear up and go deep, and it's incomplete. Tried to throw deep, way off target. <laughs> I mean, come on now, Russ. I don't know if that was supposed to be like a throwaway or something, but it was not even close to the target. I think he heard me gassing him up. Yeah, probably, man. Let, let, let's just try to, you know, hit your marks here, Russ. Now he hands it off to Najee Harris, finds a hole, and gets six yards. It'll be third down and four for the Steelers. Come on, baby. Need a first down here. Got to keep the momentum rolling. For those of you watching live, we will update the, uh, the super chat total at halftime. Third down and four. Russell Wilson, he's got plenty of time to throw. He finds George Pickens on the short route. First down, Steelers. And this has been a, a, a theme, Joey, throughout this game. George Pickens, short routes, getting him the ball when you need to pick up five or six yards, and it's worked every single time. And I just think that's the player that George is, you know. I, I think he's reliable, and that's part of why I think Russell's going to have a really good year this year. Me too. Under center. Russ almost gets tackled immediately, uh, but who missed Tyree Wilson? He got into the backfield literally immediately, and he gets the tackle for loss, a loss of three there. Pittsburgh fan 412 says Pickens is going to uh, break one long. Second down and 13, Russ from the shotgun. Takes the snap. He's looking. Now he's going to throw right. It's going to be caught by Move 
for a gain of seven, or actually a gain of ten, and it'll be third down and manageable. That's a good, that's a good completion there, Joey. You know, you get that you know, negative play on first down, pick up ten yards, and now it's a very manageable third down here for the Steelers. Come on now, type those ones if you want a first down, baby. Under center, five-step drop for Russ. He's going to throw. It's complete once again, and it's Calvin Austin the third, who's had a really good season here in this Madden simulation so far. Had a long touchdown last week against Dallas. He picks up a big first down on the curl route here. Type those once in the chat. I see you, Kurgan. I see you, Pittsburgh fan, 412. I see Kurgan. I see Pittsburgh fan, 412. I see Fernando Martin. All three of them are Black Diamond members. Shout out to Steelers Jacks. Under center. Quick drop for Russ. Now he's looking. He's scrambling. Now he's really moving around. Is he going to be able to do something? Now he's, he doesn't throw it away. Come on, Russ. Got to throw it away, man. Tyree Wilson with his second big play of the drive here. Russ has got to throw it away. He's outside the pocket. Looks like he's trying to, and then, Wilson, and then Tyree brings him down. God, get rid of it there, Russ. Now it's second and 21, and it's going to be tough to overcome this down and distance here. Raiders showing blitz. Maybe there's an opportunity here to hit somebody on a quick slant. Russ looking. He's got time. Now he's going to throw to the flat. Cordero is going to fight his way forward for about 9 or 10 yards there. It'll be third down and long. Can Russell Wilson deliver here? Or at least get close? Because you're at the 42-yard line. If you get this to like fourth and two, fourth and three, Boz might have a shot at a field goal. So you can see the first down marker is close to the 30 there. If you can get closer to that, you can maybe get a field goal. Handoff to Cordero Patterson, not even trying for the first down. They're just going to try and get this into field goal range a little bit better. And they're going to pick up a couple. It's fourth down and six. Joey, do you agree with that play call there? Not really. Now, I do have good faith in him. We're in a dome, no rain. I think he can make this. They're but send, I think you got to... Sending out Boswell. It's going to be a long field goal. It's 53 yards. Everybody type Boz in the chat if you want him to make it. Can he redeem himself from last week? It looks like he did. We're going to wait for confirmation here. But it looks like Boz put that through the uprights. He did. 10-3 Steelers. You know, Joey, I, I, I probably would have thrown it there. I think Russ has done a good a job on third down enough to trust him in that situation. Uh, and a field goal just keeps it a one-score game, right? A, another touchdown would have made it two scores. So I understand third and 12 is, is hard to convert, but give, him, give Russ options underneath in case the, the stuff past the sticks isn't working. I feel like it's a little bit outside of that sweet spot, you know? Yeah. Like third and 12, that's long. That's a, lo that's a very long attempt, yes. So Boswell, who missed the game-tying field goal against the Cowboys – at Accrucer last week, redeems himself here. And what a tackle by the Steelers special teams unit. And it's going to be only to the 16-yard line. Good kickoff return coverage there by the Steelers as the Raiders take over with two minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. Need a good drive here from the Steelers defense. Need a stop. Handoff immediately blown up by none other than Cam Hayward, folks. Cam Hayward looking like a top five defensive tackle to hey, me. Is he earning that extension? I don't know, man. I guess we're going to have to see. I hope so, man. He deserves it. I, I don't want him to pay him top five money. I don't know if that's what he wants, but I mean, that's going to, if, if they give him that money, it's going to be tough to build a championship team around him. Here we go. Quick toss on the RPO. It's incomplete. Intended for Devontae Adams as once again, Patrick Queen is in there to F stuff up like he does. Type three in the chat. We got third down. Type those threes, baby. Need a big stop here. It's third down and long. Can the Steelers get the ball back? By the way, the Steelers get the football to begin the second half. So if they can get the ball here, score, and then get the ball again, that could be huge. Gardner throwing middle. It's off target incomplete. Gardner Minshew stinks. Gardner Minshew stinks. Terrible throw to Jacoby Myers, and it's fourth and 11. Steelers getting the ball back, folks. Barry, were you ever a Gardner Minshew believer? No. I mean, I like, I like joking about him. He's Uncle Rico. That's fucking, uh, that's hilarious. But I never thought he would be anything legit in the NFL. Then we get to Cordero, who's going to take this two-minute warning here in Las Vegas. One minute, uh, first down and 10. 
And now it's going to be a screen to Cordero, who's been electric, and he's going to get four yards on the screen. Steel City Blue says, making history, great job, Steelers Nation. For those of you that don't know, we're recording this during Friday's live show where we have broken the all-time Steelers Talk Super Chat and Venmo record. We'll be breaking down the numbers at halftime for you guys. Second down and six, shotgun, Russell Wilson. He's looking. He's going to throw middle. It's incomplete, poorly thrown by Russ, who is 11 for 14 today. And he's had two of those poorly thrown balls here, Joey. Uh, He's been pretty good, uh, but he hasn't been fantastic, I would say. Hey, but that shouldn't deter you from buying a Russell Wilson jersey down there at chatsports.com slash Russ. Absolutely right. Great great transition there, kid. Third down and six, shotgun Russ. He's looking. He's been great on third down, but he's going to get sacked by Mason Crosby here. By Max Crosby, not Mason Crosby. <sighs> so Russ takes his second sack of the day. And uh, timeout called by the Raiders here who want the ball back one more time. So that was a great opportunity wasted by the Steelers there. Had great field position. They're getting the ball back at half. So if they would have scored there, plus got the ball and scored again, that could have really buried the Raiders. But didn't happen that way. Now the Raiders will get the ball back. Fielded at the 20, and he's going to be taken down at around the 25. So let's see if Gardner Minshew has anything in him. He's had a couple of just atrocious throws today. Some of his downfield throws that have actually been completed, his guys had to completely dive out and make the play. (laughs) Hot Rod 24 says, uh, sacked by a kicker. Damn, talking about Mason Crosby there. Quick throw over to, I believe this is uh, Meyer. Yeah, Mayer, the tight end out of Notre Dame from last year. Picks up nine yards, second down and one. Clock still ticking. Vegas not taking a timeout. Let's see what Minshew is going to be able to do here. He's at home, and he's playing against a tough defense. He's down seven. Shotgun, Minshew looking. He's going to throw quickly over the middle. It's caught. Devontae Adams, it looks like, with the catch. No, it wasn't. Who's 22? Who the hell is 22 for Las Vegas? I have no idea who that is. I should know. Looks like he targeted Alex Highsmith, who was in coverage. But now the Raiders are cooking here with 30 seconds left. That's Alexander Madison. Alexander Madison with that catch from the slot. Are you kidding me? Another throw. Throws to Devontae, and it's caught. First down, Raiders timeout. So Gardner Minshew putting together some throws here. Finally finds Devontae Adams, who I believe that's his first catch of the day. And now it's 23 seconds left. Raiders are at the Steelers' 31-yard line. Looks like they're going to be able to at least put some points on the board here before half. Let's hope the Steelers hold them to just three or maybe get a sack. Raiders with only one timeout. Play action. Gardner once again throwing downfield. It's caught to Devontae Adams. Looks like Gardner Minshew is finding that connection with 17 in black. And he's going to be in the Fanatics red zone. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ to pick up a Russell Wilson jersey today. And by the way, if you order that jersey by using our link, Fanatics going to send us part of the proceeds. So that's the final timeout for Las Vegas. We've got 13 seconds left. Brian Ruiz asked, Madison plays for the Raiders? Yep. He was their big uh, offseason pickup there at running back ever since they lost Josh Jacobs. Their offense is going to stink this year, man. They don't have any running backs. They don't have any quarterbacks. Their defense is going to be terrible. Here we go. They're going to kick the field goal here with four seconds left on the clock. And they're going, to pick, they're going to put it up, and it is good. Still some time left on the clock here, but it's going to be 10-6 Steelers. Steelers will get the ball at half, but I think we still have to kick this off. Yeah, we do. Two seconds left in the half before we have our, pl- uh, before we have our halftime coverage here. So overall, Steelers' defense has been okay. They... Haven't given up a touchdown yet, um, and that's definitely to their credit because last week on Wednesday when we did the Cowboys stream, they couldn't stop a nosebleed unless they got a turnover. Raiders going to kick it off here. It's going to be taken at the six-yard line by Cordero Patterson, who gets blown up at the the 25, and that's going to be the half. Okay, man, that is the half here, so we're going to be breaking down a historic day here at Chat Sports, before we get into the second half here, uh, where Joey, have you gotten the calculation? 
I do have the calculation. Let's get it showing right now so we can get to the second half. Uh, so for you, for reference here, guys, the Raiders Report, which is the biggest channel here at Chat Sports, challenged us to a Super Chat battle, and we have completely destroyed them. And the former record for Super Chat revenue for a single live stream on Steelers Talk was 2.2 in thousands. Today we got to 2.7. $2,701. If you're watching live still, we still have time to get it to 3K. We're $300 away from getting to 3,000 for the first time in channel history here. So we've already doubled up what the Raiders got today. Or actually, no, we haven't. We have to get to 3,000 to pretty much do that. So appreciate all the support. You can send a Venmo to at Jack Sperry if you want to help us beat the Raiders even more. Okay, let's get into our second half coverage here. 10-6 Steelers. They will get the ball first to start this half. Again, for our live audience, we're 300 away from 3K in Super Chat and revenue for the first time in Steelers, uh, <laughs> Steelers history, Steelers talk history. So here we go, man. Uh, I, in the first half, Joey, what are your thoughts on this? I thought Russell Wilson played fine, not perfect. The defense played fine, not perfect either. Uh, George Pickens had a really good half. Um, and I think they're going to continue to try and uh, feed uh, Cordero Patterson, because that's what they're doing right now. I agree. A lot of fine. I think if we're going to win this game, someone's going to have to step up. Either the defense is going to have to be great, Russ is going to have to be great. I don't know if we'll be able to do it if everybody's just fine. Yeah, I completely agree. Okay, man. So we have a Venmo alert right now. Joey just sent it to you. We're going to show it after the uh, Madden stream. Okay? <laughs> no way. <laughs> wow. And now we're, we're back off there in Allegiant, and Cordero is going to get to twenty to the 25. First down and 10 for the Steelers here. Up four, play action. He's looking. He's going to throw flat to Najee Harris for a gain of three. Brian Ruiz is asking, where is Jalen Warren? Why are they low on him? Um, I don't know, man. He doesn't play a whole lot. He comes in sometimes on third downs, but Matt, I guess the Madden people just think Jalen Warren is like a bad football player or something because Cordero Patterson gets more, more, <laughs> more stuff than Jalen in this season. Here we go, play action. Russ looking over the middle, wide open Pickens, and he's going to get to the 50. That was a big chunk there for the Steelers offense. First down, Pittsburgh. First down, Steelers. Come on, baby. I haven't waved this towel in a while. I need to celebrate a touchdown here, folks. Come on. What do you guys say? What do you guys say? We need a touchdown right now. By the way, uh, if you're watching this and you've sent in a Venmo since their last Venmo alert, we're going to show them after the Madden Sim, okay? So, so sit tight there. From the shotgun, Russ looking. He's going to throw outside. It's off target. Incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Steelers. So, Joey, Russ has had some of these kind of throws. You know, it seems like once in every, like, five throws, Russ will have one that's completely off kilter. But he'll put together good drives and still get this team in the end zone. I think at the end of the day, that's what you want to happen with football, right? Absolutely. I don't think we need to overthink the room here. Second um, down and ten. It's thrown. It's caught. Who is this? It looks like Calvin Austin the third with a nice catch there, and somebody shoves him, and he, 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 he suns him. First down and 10, good catch there by Calvin Austin the third, who uh, Madden is pretty high on. He's had a pretty darn good season, unlike Jalen Warren, who they freaking hate. <laughs> First down and 10, now in Raider territory. Russ from empty, he's going to take the snap. He's looking, throws middle, caught George Pickens, who has been an absolute monster today. Another first down Steelers. They are driving, folks. A touchdown would make this a two-score game. That's what we got to go get right now. That's what we need to go get right now. Come on, baby. I see Pittsburgh fan 412 down there. Fernando Martin, Hot Rod 24, under center. Russ is going to throw again. Art's really putting his uh, confidence in Russ here, but he's going to hold the ball too long, and he's going to get sacked. Third sack of the day for the Raiders, and that is the second sack of the day for Max Crosby. Just throw it away. It, Russ, Madden Russ. I'm going to get in this headset right now. Russ, if you don't have your first two reads open, throw it the fuck away. 
What are we doing? Just sitting back there like an injured baby bird ready to get eaten. Come on now. Fernando says Madden hates Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of true. Second down and 18. Still in Boswell field goal range, by the way, but now Russ will throw. It's caught by Move, and he's going to get a good gain here. Third down and eight, so you pick up a good chunk there. Definitely in Boswell field goal range, which would make it seven points, but you know what? I'm tired of this, uh, you know, being ahead by one score. I want to go up by two scores right now, guys, and make this uncomfortable for the Raiders' offense. Force them to throw the football for the rest of this game. Third down and eight, shotgun. Play action, Russ is a big play for number three. He's going to shift. He's going to go end zone and complete great coverage. He was going to Roman Wilson. Jones, the, the Raider corner, breaks it up. It'll be fourth down and eight. And it seems like every time the Raiders are on the brink of completely losing uh, a grasp on this football game, uh, they, they find a way to stay in it. So now Boz, type those Boz's in the chat. Number nine's going to put it up. And it looks good. It is 13-6 Steelers. Haven't been able to finish a drive since that first drive of the game where they scored that touchdown to George Pickens. And now it's 13-6. And, you know, last week, Joey, it was such a high-scoring affair. It was touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. And this week, it's like field goal after field goal after field goal. And, you know, it's, it's, it's making me nervous a little bit here, man. It's making me nervous. Well, it's also interesting, the conditions of last week, you would have thought it was this game, yeah. right? And against the Cowboys' defense. Yeah. Uh, it's, men's, men's interesting. You said it, pal. Fernando Martin says, happy birthday, Cassie. Uh, take her out somewhere nice, Jack. If you're watching this in video form, not live form, it's actually Cassie's birthday today, June 15th. So show Cassie both some love down there in the chat. Love you, babe. Happy birthday. Uh, and yes, Fernando, I do plan on taking her somewhere very nice tonight. Well, okay. Do you, do you know where you're going yet? Oh, yeah. Does she know? No. Okay, we'll keep it a secret. Of course not, Joey. First down and 10 here after the poor return from the Raider returner there. Minshew is looking. He's going to throw. It's caught. Minshew's been on a little bit of a heater here after, you know, sucking to start this football game. That looks like Brock Bowers, the first round rookie they took this year. The jerk is mine is saying happy birthday, Cassie. Platinum 666 is saying, give $25 for Cassie, everybody. LOL. Uh, he's going to be a handoff here to Zamir, and good coverage by the Steelers' defense. Covering it up nice. It's third down and short. Get those, ta get those uh, towels going, baby. Get those towels going. Third down. Type those threes. Steelers need to get a, touch need to get a win here for, for Cassie. Need to get a birthday win for Cassie today. Shotgun, empty for Minshew. Throws immediately to his man, Devontae, who breaks two tackles. And he's going to get out to the 45. Devontae Adams has made a big impact here in this game. And that's the thing, Joey, is that this Raiders offense is moving the ball against the Steelers, but like they're not finishing drives either. Looks like Minka Fitzpatrick just straight up missed a tackle there. What the hell, man? That's real life. Minka Fitzpatrick is ringing his bell. First down and 10. This game is too close. It's too close for comfort here, man. Hands off to Dylan Lobby, the rookie. And he's going to get seven yards on the first down carry to Sean Elliott on the tackle. As the Raiders keep driving, man. Kurgan Cold says the Steelers team in real life will look much different. I think so, man. I think so. Corey Goodwin says you guys are keeping me company while I paint a few cars for the new Superman movie. No way. That's awesome, man. Second down and three. Minshew's going to throw almost picked off by Minka Fitzpatrick. There's Minka. Minka's been kind of having a quiet season here during our Madden Summer Series. He hasn't had a lot of interceptions. I don't think he has any. Almost got his first one there. Well, and there's been like very few sacks as well. That's yeah, I mean, TJ that. Watt has like one sack this entire season, which is ridiculous. <laughs> he, might, he might get like 20 plus sacks this year, and he's got zero or one or whatever it is. Third down and three. They're going to hand it off to Zamir White. He's going to pick up three yards and a first. So the Raiders are consistently converting on third down against the Steelers' defense in this one. And this one feels a lot 
like the Denver Bronco game where it's like you just know that the team is a lot better and the Raiders offense is playing way too good for how they're actually going to play in real life. Play action, Minshew's looking, he's going to throw middle, and it's incomplete. Good coverage by Joey Porter Jr., who's been fantastic this, uh, this one. He had an interception this kickoff today's game, and he gets a big pass break up there. Second down and 10. Kareem says happy birthday to Cassie. Second down and 10. Under center is Minshew. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off to Zamir White, and he's going to be taken down immediately by Minka after he gained a four. Got all the real ones down here. We got Corey Goodwin, Fernando Martin, Kurgan Cold. A little bit of a reminder if you're watching this live or in video form that comes out on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, we're going to be going live for our Paul Skeens watch party starting at 2.45 p.m., so make sure you guys get that going. Here we go, third down. Minshew's looking. Middle caught. Jesus, another third down conversion for the Raiders as Jacoby Myers just ripping our heart out. I mean, it's third down, after third third down, down and down. long, and he just, Minshew just delivers a dot inside, you know, in between the zone coverage there from the Steelers. I'm convinced Mitch juiced his stats. <sighs> I, I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, maybe. First down and 10, maybe the Raiders report people juice these guys' stats. Throws sideline, it's going to be caught by one of the tight ends here in Las Vegas. It's going to be a five-yard gain as they get inside the Fanatics red zone. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ to pick up a Russell Wilson jersey today and help out the channel, because if you make a purchase, uh, Fanatics is going to send us part of the proceeds. Second down and five here. One receiver outside is Devontae Adams, single back. They're going to throw a quick screen to him. Going to pick up close to first down yardage, but good uh, spot there by the refs. It'll be third down and short. Hot Rod asked... Cassie, who her new favorite Steelers player is, and she has not decided yet. <laughs> what is the, uh, Platinum says, what's the Raiders' best total? I think it's like something crazy, like 12,000 or something like that. They've had some crazy streams. Third and inches, play action. Gardner's looking end zone, and it's tipped, incomplete, but there's a flag. What is the flag on? Pass interference on the defense. Are you kidding me? Joey Porter Jr. gets called for DPI on a third down, and the Raiders, oh my gosh, the refs are screwing the Steelers yet again this game. Hand off to Zamir White. He's not going to get there on first down, second down, and goal. Everybody spam boo in the chat for the refs. The refs are screwing the Steelers again. And this is what happens when the Steelers don't finish drives, man. You open it up for the refs to absolutely screw us again. Fernando Martin and Colton are booing the refs. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Scores, scores 13 to 6. Steelers here. But they're knocking on the door. They're at the one yard line. Thanks to the referees, the Zebras helped out the Raiders in a big way there. God. Second down and goal. Offset eye. Hand off to Zamir White. Not going to get there. Third and goal. Third. Uh, going to the three-yard line. Tackle for loss for Cam Hayward, his second of the game. Cam's looking fantastic here over the last uh, couple of games or so. Third down and goal. Steelers have done a great job holding the Raiders' offense. Can they do it again? Type those stops in the chat. Minshew from the shotgun. Devontae Adams one-on-one -on -one at the bottom of your screen. That's where he's going. Throws caught touchdown, Raiders. Type FLV in the chat. FLV in the chat. As Gardner Minshew just led, or I should say the refs, allowed the Raiders to drive down the field. Just ridiculous. I mean, this is just what happens, too, when you can't get off the field on third down. Yeah, exactly. Multiple third down conversions there from the Raiders' offense as they put in the extra point. We have a tie ball game here in the fourth quarter against the team this, uh, the Steelers are clearly better than. It's not even close. So uh, after the stream, if you're watching live, Joey and I will both be doing boots because uh, we've, we've clearly beaten the Raiders today. And uh, we're trying to get the 3,000. 
in Super Chat slash Venmo revenue. Uh, if you've sent in a Venmo, we're going to do it at the end of today's stream. Okay, so uh, we haven't forgot about you. Okay, so we do have some Venmo alerts. Ball is sent to Cordero Patterson here. He's going to get to the 20. He's going to try to make a move. He doesn't, doesn't work out there, 22-yard line. First down and 10 for the Steelers coming in here. Here we go, Russ. We need Russell Wilson to deliver once again. He put the Steelers in position to tie the game last week. Now he needs to put them in position to win it this week. First play is a handoff to Najee for a gain of one. Second down and nine upcoming. Shotgun formation for the Steelers' offense. Russ takes the snap. He's got time to throw. He throws middle. Tough catch for Roman Wilson. It's Kai. He breaks the tackle. And he's going to get a nice gain here. That looks like Roman. W no, that's Calvin Austin the third. It's tough to differentiate the nine and the zero in real time. But Calvin Austin the third is third reception of the game. And a first down, Steelers. Let's go. Let's go get a win. Let's go get a win. First down and 10, shotgun Russ is looking. He's going to throw middle. It's caught for another good game. This time it is Roman Wilson for a nine-yard gain. It'll be second down and one. Got to say, man, Steelers should be up by two scores in this game, not only because, you know, they should have finished some of those drives, but also because the Zebras allowed Vegas to get the only touchdown that they have. Second down and one. Shotgun. Russ is looking. He's got plenty of time on the deep drop. He throws outside Cottonaji for a first down. Steelers. Haven't been able to wave the towel in a while here, man. I want to wave this towel so bad. Come on. Need a touchdown. Need to take the lead here. It's too close for comfort. First down and 10. Russ. Three receivers set. Takes the snap. He's got time. He's going to throw to his check down to George Pickens, who's been fantastic today, and he's going to be able to get another eight yards to his total. Pickens has eight catches for 69 yards. Nice. And a touchdown. Second down and two. Arthur Smith using George Pickens as kind of a short yardage receiver in this game as opposed to a deep threat. Kind of an interesting way to use him. Now from the shotgun, Russ. On second down and short, throws quickly to the flat. Looks like that is... Uh, Calvin Austin the third again with another reception. Russell Wilson getting on a heater here. First down and 10 Steelers. We need that momentum shift to go to the Steelers here at the end of this football game to give this defense a boost. So Steelers getting closer and closer to field goal range, but we don't want field goals here, man. We've had enough of those this game. We need a touchdown. Play action. Russ has plenty of time. Throw short to Najee. His check down, he's going to get eight. Uh, what I like about Russell Wilson right now is that he's taking what the defense is giving him. They're not letting him beat him deep, so he's taking his check down, and he's taking those chunk plays, those seven-yard gains, those eight-yard gains, those nine-yard gains. When it's second down and short, he's taking the five-yard gain to move the sticks. He's playing smart football right now, and that's what I like to see. Second down and two. Russ from the shotgun. He's going to play action. He's going to throw. It is caught. By George Pickens again, another short reception for George. First down, Steelers. Let's go. Fernando's saying, wave that towel anyway. I'll wave it, man, but I need to see a touchdown. I need to see a touchdown here, Fernando. First down and 10, shotgun. Takes the snap. Russ is looking. He's going to throw middle. Caught. Is he in? Touchdown! George Pickens! There we go, Steelers. There we go. There we go, Steelers. There we go. There we go, Steelers. There we go. <laughs> Platinum. Oh, my goodness. George Pickens with his second Touchdown of the game, Russell Wilson has delivered in the fourth quarter again. Let's go, man. Let's go. Boswell puts it up and good. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man.
Russell Wilson has been great in the fourth quarter this entire uh, uh, simulated Madden season. I don't know if he has like a, a, like a superstar um, you know, ability that like boosts his attributes in the fourth quarter, but it sure seems like it. All right. Got one more Venmo alert to send you here, Joey. Do it. Crosby. Oh, not Crosby. Boswell sends it away. And it's going to be fair caught in the end zone by Lobby. First down and 10. By the way, Platinum666 is sending me $7 Venmos every time the Steelers score touchdowns. Love it. It's a handoff to Lobby here for the Raiders. Gain of three. Second down and seven. Steelers up by a touchdown here. Raiders feeling the pressure. Who's going to send in that victory Venmo if the Steelers win? I'm wondering who's going to send in that victory Venmo today. It's always somebody different. Second down and seven. Shotgun Minshew. Now there's pressure. He's got to throw, and it's going to be greatly defended, but a wonderful catch by Devontae Adams. That was a difficult catch right there. Ryan Watts on the coverage, the rookie out of Texas, Cam Hayward absolutely leveled Gardner Minshew. He put a perfect pass on Adams, and he won the contested catch situation. Jeez, that's a backbreaker there, Joey. Is your mic on? There we go. Uh, that was an incredible catch, and I'm kind of Now they're in sick. Steelers territory. Shotgun formation. This is, what, this, is what all, this is what all the touchdowns does to you, man. It keeps the Raiders in the game. Throws uh, short, and oh my goodness, who was that try? Dante Jackson just missed a, a pretty easy tackle on Michael Mayer there. First down Raiders. Come on now. Got to tackle. Got to tackle. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Raiders need a touchdown to tie it and send it to overtime. Two-minute warning. In Las Vegas, Steelers need a stop. I need everybody in the chat to send those stops in the chat. We got over 160 people watching. We need every single one of you guys to spam those stops. Sh uh, shotgun Minshew. He's going to throw uh, off target incomplete. Second down and 10. Good stop there. Anthony Fuller typed his stop. Platinum 666 type stop. Steelers Jacks type stop. Come on. Need a big stop to get your fifth win of the season. Steelers showing pressure. Raiders in the shotgun. Minshew takes it. Takes a three-step drop. He's going to throw to his flat. Was it caught? It was, but just for a one-yard gain. Kurgan Cold sends in a $6 super chat. Says, let's go Steelers. Stop them. Couldn't agree more, Kurgan. And if you guys know Kurgan Cold... He sent in that $6 Super Chat. You know he's coming in with that nine here in just a second. So get those nices ready. Third down and nine. Gardner's looking. He has to scramble because of the pressure. Now he's going to run. Is he going to get there? He got there. And then some. He gets to the six-yard line. How the hell does that happen? Gardner Minshew just ran for 25 yards by the way, clear holding penalty on Larry Ogunjobi, and once again, the refs don't call it. This, is, this game is freaking rigged. I think the Raiders report people rigged this football game. F chugs. They juiced the stats. I'm telling you. But that was a clear foul, like clear holding, and there was no call. Right in front of the mat, uh, refs' faces. First down and goal. In the Fanatics red zone. Throws end zone. Devontae, touchdown Raiders. Diving toe-tap catch from Devontae, and the Raiders are going to tie it. Will they go for two? That is the question. What a toe-tap by Devontae Adams in the back of the end zone. By the way, let's show those two Super Chats real quick here. Joey, the six and the nine from Kurgan. Get those nices in the chat, even though giving up that lead in the fourth quarter was not nice. Big shout-out to Kurgan Cold, our MVP of the last three weeks of the channel here. He's been phenomenal. He's been there every single time. 
Uh, and he's helped us get to $1,000 in Super Chats in every single live stream we've had this month. Uh, and there's the nine, so get those nices in the chat. Kurgan says F Coop and F Chugs. Couldn't agree more. By the way, if you've sent in a Venmo uh, this half and we haven't shown it, it's because we're showing it after we're done with the segment. We're going to show it after the segment's over. So if you've sent in a Venmo, we didn't forget about you. So we got a minute 14 left in the game. The Steelers will get the ball with all three timeouts. We've seen Russell Wilson consistently deliver in these moments. Can he do it again? Cordero Patterson will take it to the 23, which is where Russell Wilson and the black and gold offense will take the field. Come on, baby. <laughs> Need to go get this W. It's been way too close. We're way better than this team. We have to put them away right now. First down 10, poor throw short to Pat Fryermuth. Incomplete. Not a good start there. The refs have given Las Vegas essentially both of their touchdowns because on third downs, they didn't call a, a, an obvious holding penalty on that Gardner Minshew one, and then they called a bullcrap DPI on Joey Porter Jr. before. Now Russ has to dump it off. It's Najee. It's close. He gets absolutely ramrodded. That should be a first down, and they're going to screw the Steelers again, calling it third and inches. These refs have screwed the Pittsburgh Steelers today. This is awful. This is the third call in this game that has screwed the Steelers. The third one. None of them have gone against the Raiders. From the shotgun, Russ has to get it. He's going to dump it off to Cordero. It's going to be close, and he's going to break a tackle. What a play by Cordero Patterson. It didn't look like he was going to get it, and he made a man miss. Everyone spam 84 in the chat. Everyone spam those 84s. He's been huge these past three weeks. It's because he went to Tennessee. Kurgan Cold says his money is on the refs. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. If the Steelers lose this game, it will be because of the referees. They have been that bad. And I'm not somebody that likes to blame the refs. They have been awful. First down and 10. Russ is going to throw a mail. It's caught. There we go. He's got, it's going to be the move. First down, Steelers in there now in field goal range. <laughs> Russell Wilson delivering the goods in the fourth yet again. <laughs> Look at this dot from Russell Wilson to Pat Firemuth right on the body. And now the Steelers are cooking. And now it looks like Chris Boswell might have a chance here for redemption, after missing last week's field goal to lose the game against the Dallas Cowboys, now the Steelers are moving. Steelers use their first timeout after that catch, by the way. They're going to hand it off to Najee. He's going to find his way forward for three yards. And for some reason, the Steelers are calling timeouts. I guess they want to get as much yardage as possible here before they kick the field goal. But you're, you've got to be making Las Vegas take their timeouts here. Why are the Steelers... Spending timeouts here. That's ridiculous. What are we doing, Tomlin? Second down and seven. Single back formation. I have a feeling they're going to run again. They're going to send George in motion on the jet sweep. A Matt Canada special, and they're going to lose yards. So the clock's going to tick, and it's going to be a long field goal for Chris Boswell. Everybody spam Boz in the chat. The great and powerful Boz has a chance to send the Steelers to five and one. Looking for redemption here, and they couldn't be any more poetic right here, folks. 2020, after losing the game for the Steelers last week, Chris Boswell will come on for the game winning field goal. Come on. Come on. Everyone type those bosses in the chat. It's gonna now there's gonna be a timeout Steelers. They're going to ice their own kicker. Wait, no, I think the Raiders called timeout. The Raiders are icing Chris Boswell. It'll be about a 50-yard field goal. Come on, Boz! Make it, Boz! It's going to be up. Is it good? It is! Steelers win the football game! Here we go, Steelers! Here we go! Here we go, Steelers! Here we go! Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Boz redeems himself in week six.
That's a beautiful storyline right there. Oh my goodness. It, it was harder than it should have been. Pause. But the Steelers are going to win the football game and they're going to 5-1, and one, folks. Unless, uh, barring a miracle here on the kickoff, if the Steelers lose this game, I will be so, I'll be indescribably mad. Makes the tackle, and the Steelers improve to 5-1. and one. Everyone spam those W's in the chat. Spam those W's in the chat. Man, how much Raider ass are we going to kick today? Well, we beat them in the Super Chat battle. We beat them on the field in Madden. I mean, that's double duty right there. That's double ass kicking right there, man. Absolutely fantastic. Got a couple more Venmo alerts for you here. Some victory Venmos coming in. All right, man. Okay, let's finish up the segment right now, Joey, and then we'll get to the Venmos, okay? So let's go over the recap here in week six of our Madden simulation. The Ravens beat the Washington uh, Commanders. The Bengals beat the New York Giants. And then the Browns lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. So with the updated AFC North standings here after six weeks, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh are tied at the top of the division at 5-1, and one, and then Cleveland and Baltimore are right on their heels at 4-2. and two. So to this point in the Madden season, this is undeniably the best division in football. So the Steelers better keep it going. Next week, Wednesday, our live show, we're going to be doing our Madden Sim uh, Sunday Night Football once again here. Uh, Steelers versus Jets. Aaron Rodgers coming to Acrisure Stadium. Can the Steelers get redemption after losing to the Cowboys on primetime two weeks prior? We'll find out next Wednesday. Till next time, make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, here we go, Steelers.